Today we are going to put a lighting system to an RC car. But first let's do an easy modification, which is to change the RC system we are going to use. The one that I had from the factory is a two channels RC system. With those two channels you can control the steering and the acceleration to go forwards and backwards. Although the receiver has a third channel but the rear control doesn't have any switch or anything to control it. So we will need a receiver with at least four channels and a rear control with switches to control the LED lights. I'm going to use this receiver from FR Sky to be able to use my FR Sky Taranis radio, which has a lot of switches. But of course, you can use any other brand like a Fly Sky radio, which is a lot cheaper. I'll leave the links in the description of this video. To make the receiver change, we need to unscrew the case from the main body of the car. And now we can access all the electronics. This is the receiver we're going to change. and we place the new one. And now we connect the wires back to the correct channels. Make sure to connect them in the right channel, depending on the brand of your radio. For example, in FR Sky, the channel number one controls the motor, and in Fly Sky is the number three. By connecting the ESC in the right channel, you will avoid accidents like accelerating the car and not knowing what channel is controlling it. In the radio, I will create a new model and make some mixes. To go forward I will use the left throttle stick and to go backwards I'm going to use the right stick. There are many ways to program that into a radio but I'm going to use curves. I love the Taranis X9D radio because you can program it however you want. But it's more common to see pistol type radio controls to control cars and boats but it's actually more intuitive with a pistol type ready control to control the car. And finally I configured a 3 position switch to control the LED lights, off, low beam and high beam modes. And then I wrote an Arduino program to control the whole system. It's going to have the input of two different channels to interpret those PWM signals to control the LED lights. The first channel will control the tail lights when you brake or go backwards. And the second channel is a three position switch which will turn on the headlights. You can use a Y connector to divide the signal from the first channel, but you can also duplicate the signal to another channel, but that will take a little bit of mixing and also will occupy another channel in your receiver. And then I'm going to use Fusion 360 to design the lamps, so I will 3D print them. And this is the final result. To run the program I'm going to use an Arduino Uno, but you can use any other microcontroller like an Arduino Pro Mini, an Arduino Nano or something like a NAT Tiny, very small. If you use a NAT Tiny 85 you could design your own PCB, made specifically for this task or for any other. This could be possible if you ordered your PCBs from JLC PCB. With them, you can order your own designed PCBs for a very low price. We're talking about 10 PCBs for only $2, plus shipping. These boards are very high professional quality, and you can see that in many of my other videos about electronics, where you can see a lot of PCBs from JLC PCB. Their technology will produce your board in 24 hours, and if it is the first time you order with them, the shipping will be free. I'll leave the links in the description of this video. Let's continue with the project. For now, I have to do a lot of connections. At the end of the wires that are going to be connected to the Arduino, I'm going to solder these pin headers, so that makes it easy to connect to the Arduino. Now let's go to the next step, where I'm going to make some space where the headlights are going. To 
maximize the brightness, it's a good idea to use a reflective material, like this aluminum foil. I'm going to leave a diagram of the wiring in the description of the video. For the tail lights, I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna drill a hole for the LEDs. The rest of the process is simply be patient and connect all the wires. The connections to the Arduino is according to the program we have written because we can choose what inputs and outputs to use. You can download this program directly from the description of the video. Basically, the inputs for the PWM signals are the pins 6 and 7. The rest are output pins, like low pins pin 13 and high pins pin 12, and so on. The rest of the code is very simple. Note that the sum of all the LEDs that I'm using won't consume more than 1 amp which is the maximum the Arduino Uno can deliver, and if it's an Arduino Nano, it's 500 mA, but I'm still below that. If you are planning to use more powerful lights, then you have to use a MOSFET transistor or a relay. Once all the connections are done, our system is ready to go out and be tested. And then I put an FPV camera to try and see at night time. In the right lower corner you're looking at GoPro Hero 2 footage. It's an old camera and that's why it looks very bad in low light. And that's how we conclude this video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, please share the video to help grow this channel. And also consider subscribing if you would like to see more projects like this. I'll see you in the next project.